sticking up out of the water. When you think of gang members, do you have a mental image of an inner city neighborhood? This revealing report from Sean Rabb shows gang members are not only in inner cities, but could be moving to a neighborhood near you. Disciple. And is that related to either one of those? That's the Crips. Cousins to the Crips. They are here from Chicago, claiming kin to tough street gangs. In Metroplex mid-cities, their membership is growing. I have a mom. She ain't said nothing too much. I know she wears it. Worried that her son walks the streets with gang members who look over their shoulder, expecting trouble. If they roll through, then they'll be like, there they go right there. Regardless if the camera was here or not, you know, if they want to take care of their business, they'll take care of their business, you know. And everybody has what they need to take care of business. Of course, if you get guns anyway. D and Stack are two who are bloods, bonded by color, here from the West Coast. And if you see somebody from a different hood, you just square it off like that and handle those. What do you mean you square it off like that? See, so you get them up. Squad. Why? Because. Well, the hood is the hardest. They, over there, they, come, they coming over there, so they must want something with you. They ain't got no business in that part of the neighborhood. Neighborhoods that these young men say will always be divided by colors. You yeah. can't get rid of gangs, man. So always, a gang, somebody's going to be bad. I say bloods and crips are always going to fight. You know, that's, I just like two dogs that can't get along. They're always going to fight. Sean Rabb, News 4, Texas. The gang members also told Sean they'd like to start over, but feel a change is too far out of their reach. We'll keep you posted on their progress. Meantime, in Dallas, a gang intervention center was given a 